Hi there, welcome to Heritage Foods. We're gonna make a smoked Wagyu pastrami. Here's all the ingredients that you'll need. Get them ready. We're gonna mix all of our ingredients for the brine in a large stock pot. Crush a garlic with your knife and add its entirety to the pot. I'm going to peel a whole orange and juice it into the brine. We're going to add three and a half liters of water to our brine to dissolve. and we're gonna bring that pot up to a simmer to help dissolve the sugars and salt. Give it a stir, make sure it is dissolved. After you've dissolved your brine, pour into a container with four liters of cold water. This will help the brine cool very quickly so that we can immediately pour over our brisket. After we've covered the brisket in the brine, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for two to five days, preferably five. After the brisket has brined for five days, remove it from the brine and pat it dry. Now we're going to grind some coriander and black peppercorn. You could do this in a mortar and pestle or an electric spice grinder. The electric spice grinder will be faster, but be careful that you want coarsely ground. Don't over grind. After we've ground the peppercorns and coriander, we're going to rub this into the fat cap of our brisket. Now we're ready to take it out to the smoker. Get your smoker preheated up to 225 degrees. Once the brisket reads an internal temperature of 160 to 170 degrees, it's reached what we call the stall. And it'll take much longer to cook if you don't wrap it. So we're gonna wrap this in foil and then return it to the smoker for its final cook up to 200 degrees. Once the brisket has reached its internal temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll remove it from the smoker. Let's let this rest for a little while. I got a little too excited. I couldn't wait for this to rest. So I sliced it open a little bit prematurely just to show you the interior. Now look at that juicy pastrami. We've let our pastrami cool completely the next day. And we're going to make some sandwiches. We have Cleveland Kraut, the classic caraway flavor. Rick's picks the people's pickle and Wilder Mustard's Dijonish Mustard that we're gonna pair with the pastrami on rye. Slather some mustard on both sides of your bread. Then, we'll pile our sliced pastrami up. Add some sauerkraut to your liking. And the pickles. 
slice it up and plate it and enjoy. And that's how you make a smoked Wagyu pastrami.